morning, everybody. Welcome once again to a weekly message from Jesus. I'm Barry Strom. I would like to remind you that all of his messages are available on my YouTube channel and it is in my name. Our Father is present. He is here for a message as always. So let us begin. Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to be a little bit more serious with you. I've been coming to you now for well over a year, and I've brought you all different types of messages. I've stressed to you the importance of passing my messages, and I've stressed to you the simplicity of my messages. Today, I want to talk to you about decision time. There is very much evil going on in your world today. There's war in Europe. There's potential war with China and Taiwan. North Korea is testing the free world. Evil is growing very rapidly. That's not a new message. I brought it to you many times before. Evil is a test for humans. It is a test for you to make the right decision to fight it. If you sit back and allow evil to overtake your life, then you will fail in your life plans. That's not a new message either. I know, and you hear this often from me, that many of you are becoming very bored with the simple messages of which I speak. Well, I'm, as I tell you many times as well, I'm sorry about that, but that is the way of things. When I walked the earth, I spoke simple messages. Now the churches felt that they needed to complicate it because how could they build a foundation on messages so simple? So through the years, they complicated it and I've told you many of the details in previous messages as well. I'm having Barry speaking to you during these times because I knew that evil would be growing at a very rapid rate at your current time. I sent him back so that he could speak these words. I wanted him to be very explicit in how he delivered my messages, and he is. I want you to truly understand the importance of making a decision to fight evil. It is truly decision time for humans. It is quite possible. Now, I don't want to bring fear. I don't think it's probable, but it is quite possible that a deranged person in Russia could set off a conflagration of weapons of mass destruction that would essentially remove humans from the face of the earth and destroy their evolution. I know that is a frightful thought, but if you believe in me, then you would know that if that happened, your souls would return to heaven, the suffering would be over, and you would be returning to where your soul always returns. It would be a shortening of all your life plans, and there would be many things that you did not accomplish, and I'd be very sad. I have spent hundreds of years trying to have humans develop to the point that they have to learn to love and they have to learn to coexist. Your new technologies are allowing vast increases in the power of your weapons. Now, all of the great civilizations on other planets have gone through this time. They face these threats but they have listened to my words. I have always sent back messengers 
to speak words of peace in times of violence. I know that many of you have been robbed of learning about history. You see, the evil people want to remove history because they want humans to make the same mistakes they made in the past. If you do not know the past, then it's impossible to avoid the mistakes of the past. One of the decisions that you must make is to learn about the past. What is happening to you today is not unique. Throughout the ages, there have been individuals that had no regard for the taking of human lives because they wanted to increase their power, their wealth. In their own minds, they wanted to be the king of the world. Well, no one's ever going to do that. I'm God. I'm king. I am king of the galaxy. No one's ever going to attain that type of power or energy. But you see, I use every bit of my energy for good. I do not use any of my energy to promote evil. If you look at your government, you will see much evil. If an individual is capable of gaining great wealth while in a political position, they are doing something that is not ethical. They are using their knowledge to take advantage of others and gain wealth and power. I want you to take a close look at your elected individuals. You have the power to elect people that believe in me, that understand that love, is the, love and coexistence is the answer and will do what is best for the people. It is not hard to understand who in your government is taking advantage of the people. Individuals in the inner cities are especially persecuted by the politicians. They look at those individuals as a vote. They promise that they're going to do things for them, and they never do it. They know they're never going to do it, but they promise. That's evil. They are trying to control those individuals. Elect people that will truly help those in the inner cities. The harder it is for an individual to make a living, to raise their family, the more that you're going to see violence and crime. Now, don't think just because you live in a suburb that you're going to be protected. There's also those that want to destroy the reputations of the peacemakers and lawmen. Believe me that if you do not have people that are public servants and are looking out to protect you, then that crime and violence will slowly grow and your secure homes in the, sub in the suburbs are not going to be secure. It's common sense. The individuals that are trying to steal and gain, gain wealth are going to look to the communities where that wealth is living. It's the suburbs. You may think you're safe, but if you let these radical ideas take place, you will no longer be safe. It is truly a time for decisions. They need to be made on a local level. They may to be made on a national level. And they need to be weighed on a worldwide level. That decision has simply got to be to follow my words. I will lead you. My simple words will simply lead you to where you need to be to coexist. Once you learn that lesson of love and coexistence, 
then I will allow you to learn more technologies. And those technologies will allow you to understand all of the information that is available from those on other planets, from those other individuals that serve me. Once I know that you humans are capable of handling the information, I will allow my messengers to give you information that will let you to advance. Now, don't ever think you're going to approach the wonders of heaven because that's never going to happen. When you pass, you will enjoy wonders far beyond any technological capabilities that are available in the galaxy. That is a fact. That is the way of things. That is what I tell you every week. I want you to make decisions to act. Act to follow my words, find love of me in your hearts, find personal satisfaction, find happiness, and affect others so that they truly understand that it is a time for decision. I cannot be more direct than I am with you this morning. I look at the terrible war in Europe. I look at the evil that is creating it. And I look at the potential that it has to cause a world war and draw everybody into it and perhaps even end the evolution that I have worked so hard to create. Let your officials know that sanity must prevail. Sanity is following my words. And if you do that, you will have made the decision that perhaps has saved mankind. Those of you that love me have no fear, but you should have doubts about the future of evolution. So I bless all of you that are listening. I bless all of you that are going to make a decision to follow my words and do what you can to lead others to do that as well. Goodbye. I will return again to you next week. And thank you. Okay. Thank you, Father. That was a very direct message, and I hope people pay attention to it. You can, as I said earlier, you can hear all my messages on our YouTube channel. It's in my name, Barry Strome. All of the messages are incredible. All of our channelings will help lead you to following his words. So we will be back again next week. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, just follow the words that you will hear from him. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.